some of these guys get absolutely jacked. My favorite exercise is bench. Uh, I just feel like it's it's a good it's a good overall lift for the body and a great football lift. Let's take a look at 10 NFL players who clearly didn't miss a rep this summer and are heading into training camp in, drumroll please, the best shape of their lives. Will Levis The former University of Kentucky quarterback had himself a nightmare of a draft night, slipping all the way out of the first round after initially being rumored to be among the top names called. But you know, the reality is, that seems to have been out of his control entirely, because Levis went the whole nine yards leading up to the draft by getting absolutely shredded in the lead up to his first NFL season to further his status as a prospect and show teams how serious he actually was about being a professional. I mean, check out the insane difference between December, when he was recovering from injury, and March, a month before the draft. It is hard to believe that this is just a four pound difference. Unfortunately for Levis, pumping iron didn't do many favors in the eyes of NFL scouts, who I guess were more focused on minor details like pocket presence and accuracy downfield. At this point, we're rooting for Levis though. If he thrives in the NFL, maybe we'll see a whole new generation of jacked quarterbacks come up through the ranks, which I think we can all admit would be a pretty hilarious reality to exist in. DJ Fluker Making it into the NFL NFL once is hard enough, but the now 32 year old DJ Fluker has decided that since the first go around left a lot to be desired, he's gonna make a second attempt at the whole professional football player thing. Which, you know, considering how disappointing his first stint in the league was, is a bold but also worthwhile mission. You know, provided he can now deliver on the promise that he showed all those years ago coming out of Alabama. The offensive lineman isn't just waiting around expecting an NFL team to scoop him up now though. Fluker has undeniably been putting in work. And they don't seem to be just glory muscles either. Fluker had a chance to work out at his alma mater's pro day and he looked equal parts strong and spry. Now it's all just a matter of seeing what he can do in camp and if and when a team takes a chance on him. And if the whole second act thing doesn't shake out for him, well hey, at least he can enjoy the fact that he's now in preposterously good shape. Mackie Becton there are a variety of reasons that can prompt NFL players to shred up during the offseason. Plenty of them do it really just for the gram, but others like Mecky Becton do it out of necessity. In Becton's case, it wasn't just to perform better on the field, but also to, you know, actually stay on the field. As the young lineman has endured more than his fair share of knee issues since the Jets brought him into the league with the 11th overall pick in the 2020 draft. At the time that New York took him, Becton, who stands at 6'7", was somewhere in the neighborhood of 370 pounds. That is an astronomical weight to carry if you're even just walking around, let alone enduring the constant toll of an NFL season. But Jets fans should have hope renewed heading into the 2023 season, all based off the images that we've seen. Because this man has lost a considerable amount of poundage by hitting his training regimen hard this offseason. Seriously, he looks like a completely different person. Obviously, there are no guarantees going forward, but I have to think that shedding some of that excess weight will at a minimum give him a better chance of getting through the season healthy. Ezekiel Elliott Dallas Cowboys running back Ezekiel Elliott's apparent weight gain has been a reoccurring topic of conversation over the last couple of years, in large part because he was so well known for wearing a cropped jersey during his younger days, but uh, also because there's been a decline in performance that seems to have coincided with the increased bulk. So much so that his once fiercely loyal fan base in Big D has even become bearish on him, particularly with the emergence of Tony Pollard over the last couple of years. It seems that Elliot has recognized that it is high time for him to do something about it though. And the man has been hitting this offseason workout like never before. Having his trainer Josh Hicks confirmed to The Athletic during an interview, saying, I don't think Zeke has ever worked like this in the offseason. I could be mistaken, Hicks said. But me personally, when it comes to my drills and what I do and how I do it, I know he hasn't worked like this. I don't know if this is exactly music to your ears as a Cowboys fan or player or coach, you know, who has watched the running back struggle to regain form over the last couple of years, but you know, I am sure that a better late than never sentiment will quickly emerge amongst the Cowboys contingency. 
Daniel Bellinger While the Giants' second-year tight end is not yet a household name in New York, let alone around the rest of the country, Daniel Bellinger is doing his very best to change that. I mean, check out the gun show at the Meadowlands. There is absolutely no denying the work that he's put in this offseason. It's even more eye-popping when you look at the disparity between his physique compared to last year. I don't know about you, but I think that the smart money is on Bellinger topping his 2022 total of 268 receiving yards and two touchdowns in 2023. Aaron Rodgers Aaron Rodgers looks like he may have a big season ahead of him. I mean, he's entering his first season in New York after an extensive tenure in Green Bay, and he has a lot of people to prove wrong. You know, after a 2022 campaign that was underwhelming, you know, at least compared to his ridiculously high standards. And let me tell you, much to the relief of Jets fans, it now appears that it hasn't just been his mindfulness, or whatever you want to call it, that he's been working on this offseason. Because, let me tell you, this 40-year-old is looking yoked. With Rodgers, I don't think the fans are so much concerned with the size of his biceps, but rather the implication that accompanies them. The quarterback is training and focused on football, something that came into question during the end of his time as a Packer. Hopefully, this signals something good for the Jets. To attack Viloa. So, this one comes with a bit of an asterisk, because while the Miami Dolphins quarterback hasn't exactly gotten shredded this offseason, it has been a very busy one for him. For starters, he took up jujitsu in the hopes that it would help him become more malleable and absorb contact better next year. And there's no denying that Tua has bulked up in a big way. Tagovailoa has played most of his professional career somewhere in the neighborhood of 215 pounds. But after struggling to stay healthy amid the wear and tear of the NFL grind, he made the decision to put on some extra padding. Some Dolphins fans were quick to raise the alarms when they saw the initial pictures out of Miami's camp, but I think they rushed to judgment. It isn't a bodybuilding contest out there, it's football. And for Tua to be effective, he needs to be able to stay healthy. If his team of trained professionals directed him to put on a handful of extra pounds to better endure the relentless beatings of an NFL season, I think we should all look at that as a positive. Let's not forget, Tagovailoa is a freak athlete. He is not like us regular people. He can put on 5 to 10 pounds and have it be a good thing. Kenny Pickett Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback Kenny Pickett has not been resting on the laurels of an awesome part two of his rookie season in 2022. Instead, it appears he's been hitting his offseason training program with all the focus and dedication one would want out of their budding franchise quarterback. This shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone that has followed along with Pickett's offseason comments, as he called his shot on the Pat McAfee show, saying, I want to gain a little bit more weight and have a little bit more muscle mass on me heading into the season after experiencing a lot of these hits and, you know, the game just played a little bit faster here. He continued to explain that he ended up getting a little bit too lean as a result of the training he did leading up to the 2022 NFL Combine. The Combine training, man, I got a little too lean, I'd say. So, like, you're training for the 40, the 5, 10, 5. You're just not training to, to be a football player. You're kind of doing the drills. And based off the early reports out of Steelers camp, I think it's safe to forecast that he'll at least be starting the season off weighing more than 219 pounds, his Combine weight. Probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 225, maybe 230 pounds. For Kenny Pickett, who suffered two concussions and faced a couple of nagging injuries during his rookie season, the extra bulk could be a significant help in keeping him healthy for the long haul. Jalen Warren Jalen Warren is no stranger to hard work. The 5'8 running back made his way from Snow College to Utah State, then Oklahoma State, all the way to the Pittsburgh Steelers as an undrafted free agent in the 2022 draft. He wasn't a huge contributor for Pittsburgh in 2022, but the fact that he played 16 games as a undrafted free agent should be a testament enough that the work he put in wasn't in vain. Better yet, it seems that Warren wasn't done improving as he has turned quite a few heads in training camp with the changes to his physique. I mean, this guy must have put on an extra five pounds of muscle on his legs alone, even if he himself barely noticed it during his off-season training. It's kind of crazy because I didn't really notice it until others told me, Warren said. I know I feel great and my body fat percentage is the lowest it's ever been. I didn't do anything different. I just did it more often. Well, hey, don't worry, Jalen. We have all noticed. And we are now ready to see what that new shredded frame can do for the Steelers in 2023. Jalen Hurts 
Okay, this one might come as a little bit of a surprise to everyone, not because people doubt Jalen Hurts' work ethic or his interest in training, but rather because after seeing the way he developed during his first couple seasons in the NFL, it seemed a laughable notion that the Eagles star quarterback could get any more jack than he already was. No, that training seemed to pay off based on the monster stats that he put up in 2022. Not only did he look physically stronger and faster, but Jalen was also a much improved passer. It is actually somewhat scary to think about what Hurts might look like in 2023 after another offseason of grinding the way he does. Especially after hearing all of his Eagles teammates rave about how much improvement they've already seen out of their young quarterback thus far during the team's OTAs. But which NFL player do you think got the most shredded this offseason? Was there anyone that we missed? Let us know in the comments section below. If you liked this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps out a ton. And hey, we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to TPS though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.